Hey everyone, how are you doing? Thank you for watching this video. So I've had the Line 6 Pod Go now for a few weeks. I've gotten to know it quite well. I've got a good idea now what it can, what it can't do, what it sounds like, etc, etc. So I was thinking of video ideas and I wanted to do something fun. So what I thought I could do is, I thought let's make a video trying to see if I can get the tone that's in my head out to come out through the speakers <laughs> without even playing the guitar we'll play the guitar once the presets made I'm gonna make a preset without even playing a single note on the guitar and I'm gonna see how close it's gonna be from my head and then out through the speakers once we get the presets at all so I've got everything rolling here so let's go let's start so let's click on a new preset, a total blank new preset. And obviously we're going to start with an amp. So the tone that I'm actually going to go for is I want nothing too high gain. It's going to be like a rock tone. Nothing too high gain or not a metal tone. Um, and not something that's going to be really clean. It's going to be able to be cleaned up. But I want something, you know, like a good rock a good rock tone like an ACDC kind of just a good decent rock tone so let's go okay so first thing we're going to do is find an amp now um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let's what kind of a mood that what kind of a mood am I in today so like I say I do have a specific tone in my head that I want here now what's going to give me that tone? Um, it's going to, it's not going to be something like a Cali rectifier. It's, that's too, that's too high gain. It's going to be maybe some Marshall or I tell you what, a Doctor Z. Yeah, we're going to go with a Doctor Z. So let's click that in, and that's going to load straight into the the amp module there. Um, cab wise. You know, for the sake of this video, let's change up the cab. It's a little bit too easy just to go with a stock cab. So we're gonna we're gonna change the cab to something. Now there's your base cabs. I obviously don't want one of them. I don't want something like a tweed cab. I want something like a maybe it's like a Marshall kind of a sound. So I think the 412, the 1960T75 is gonna probably be I don't really want a V30. So yeah, let's let's load in the the uh, the T75C, which I've already clicked on. Um, let's go into that and see what's what here. Um, the first thing I'm going to look at is the microphone. I don't really want a 409 dynamic mic. I think the microphone I have been loving is the 80, 87 condenser mic, which is about round about here. There we go. So we'll try that, and I want this to be quite a bright um, tone. So we're going to take down th the, th the the distance is okay, three inches there, but let's take it down even further. I want it right up against that cab. So we'll take it a one inch. Let's look at the low cut. Yeah, it's just standard stock, which is fine. Eighty hertz and eight kilohertz, which sounds about right to me. So, so now we have our amp. Let's have a look at the amp settings. <clears throat> Again, the Doctor Z um, in this in the Line Six, it's not it's not too high gain. Gives you a nice fat kind of, you know, maybe it's a gritty clean sound. So we are going to be looking to push this thing. Um, the drive, we're just going to leave the drive there. It looks good to me. Let's take the bass down a little bit. Mids there, tread, treble, we can leave the treble there. Presence, yeah, it's quite a bright amp this. And make sure the master is on 10, it is. Hum, um, well, I guess we're just going to leave all these settings stock. Let's not mess about with them. All right, so now let's look to add some stuff in front. 
of the amp. Let's move the send and return to the end. We don't really need that. So the first thing we're going to do, let's add a, what can we do here? Let us add a, let's add a compressor for a nice fat sound. Let's just click on the LA Studio compressor. Quick look at the settings. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna mess around with the settings there. Let's just leave that there for now. I might change this. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. And for the the next one in front of the arm, obviously I'm gonna have to boost it. So we'll go into the distortion. And I think we're gonna go for a. Uh, normally you would go for the tube screamer, wouldn't you? But. I think we're going to go for something different. Let's go for the Timmy pedal. Yeah, we'll go for the Timmy pedal. Let's see what the settings are in that. Level. Okay, let's push the level right up. Because we're going to need to drive the amp. Let's go all the way to 10. And let's also push the gain up. To Let's leave it at 8. We'll go for 8. Okay, so that should give us, with this engaged, pushing the amp, it's going to give us some nice overdrive there I think um, yeah I think it's going to give us some nice overdrive the EQ we can go on the EQ we can turn that on um, I don't really want a parametric EQ let's go for the 10 band let's go in that and I'm going to maybe give it a push maybe a couple of dB at 2 kilohertz um, maybe it's a, a decibel and a half at 4 and maybe he's a, a one decibel at eight. Looks about right. We'll see what that does. And as far as after the amp, um, effects, let's go for reverb, typical. Um, so we'll click on reverb there. What reverb have I got in my head? Um, don't really want nothing too drastic. So it's going to be something like a, either a room or a chamber, I think. Let's go with chamber. Let's see what the settings are in the chamber. Yeah, maybe bring the decay down a little bit just to see where that gets us. Um, the mix is a bit high there, so we'll bring that down to about 30. I think. Yeah, we'll see what that does. So that's it for the reverb. Nice and simple. Um, we've got one slot left. What shall we do for this one slot? I tell you what, let's do something a little bit different. Let's go for like a wacky, kind of a wacky f filter thing. Just for a little bit of fun. So let's go with that. Well, first thing I'm going to do is put that in front of the amp. See how that sounds. Uh, filter. Let's go. I haven't really messed with these, so I'm not really sure um, what they do you know, what they sound like completely. I've had a quick play with them, but it's not really my thing. So, but let's, for the sake of this video, let's do something fun. Let's go for, I'm a Star Wars fan, let's go for the Obi-Wan. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna sound like. We'll have to wait till we get the guitar on to see what that sounds like. Okay, so all of our, oh, one thing I will do is I'm gonna move the volume pedal to after the cab, it's just something I do. So I prefer to adjust the overall volume rather than the input of the amp for this particular sound. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for that. I think that's pretty much it. We've got the cab now, we've got the amp, we've got a reverb, we've got some EQ, we've got a compressor, we have an overdrive and we have a wacky, we have wacky effects so all right next thing to do is get the guitar on i'm going to be using my um music man loop 3 so let's do it all right let's get the guitar first thing to do let's see if it's noisy it will be and it is so we'll turn on the noise gate bang noise goes away Excellent. Now let's see how it sounds. Here we go. Not 
too, boss. So not too bad, it's all right considering we didn't play anything while we were building the preset. So that's not too bad. I would probably go ahead and make a couple of little adjustments if I had to. If I did have to, I would probably take the drive down, maybe via the, uh, the Timmy pedal that we put in. I would maybe bring the drive of that down a little bit to get a little bit more Rocky Torn. Let's see how it cleans up, we can turn that off, see what it sounds like. Alright, so it cleans up nice as well. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Let's see what it sounds like with the uh, the wacky. Right, and you can change that out if uh, if you want. So I will be putting this on the Line 6 custom tone under my username, which is the Tony Emery. If you want to go and check that out, it's completely free. I'll whack it up there if you want to go and download it and have a play. Obviously, you can change out this Obi Wan if you want for a fuzz or phaser flanger, the usual stuff, whatever you want. So yeah, not too bad considering we didn't, you know, pick up the guitar and. Play, change something, play, change something, play. We just went straight out without playing the guitar. And it sounds okay, it sounds good. Um, I would change a few things probably, uh, judging off that first sound, but yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, uh, it really helps us out. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.